We all know that in today's world, programming skills are an important asset, no matter the field you choose to work in. We all want to make sure our kids are ready for a fast-paced, technology-run world, but not all programs are created equal. Today I'll show you an amazing find for programming that will hold your child's hand when taking the first steps into the world of technology. Hi, I'm Laura from monkeymom.com with reviews and tips for homeschoolers. Thank you for being here. If you're new, please consider subscribing and turn the notifications on to see when I post new content. My Tech Lab is today's sponsor and you can read more about them on my blog post which is linked in the description below. My Tech Lab was created by Jackie and Steven Souders. They are such a happy duo and I loved observing them interact with the children. Jackie is the one giving the class start. You can tell that she has experience in early childhood education. Steven is the IT mastermind, explaining and taking children through every project. He is there to explain and hold kids' hands through the complex world of programming. His IT background and teaching experience make him the perfect teacher for programming. My Tech Lab is geared to kids from 3rd to 12th grades and high schoolers can even get credits for taking these classes. They offer year-long live classes but don't worry if timing doesn't work for you because you get access to the recorded lessons as well. There are multiple options for you to choose from. There's one summer class 3D modeling and animation for 9 to 12 year olds. My Tech Lab offers 10 months classes for Technology Lab levels 1 to 4 for kids aged 11 and older. Programming 1 for kids over 11. Software Engineering 1 for kids aged 13 or older. Parents will have to create an account and add their children in. You can do this for free if you want to explore the program or even to have access to the online simulators and community. Everything is in one place under the dashboard and the layout is very easy to navigate and intuitive. The teachers are very responsive and you can ask for their help at any point if you are stuck or need extra help. They are just a message away. I love how organized everything is and how easy it is to navigate. I'm so happy I discovered this class because programming skills were on our to learn list for next year. Here's what I love about my tech lab and why we will keep using it as our technology curriculum for many years to come. It's independent and easy to use. Parents don't need to know anything about programming or even be tech savvy to use this. Just a basic knowledge of setting up an account and connecting the kids to Zoom classes is enough. I love how hands-off it is for parents to use. This program allows me to sit back and let my son take the driver's seat on our learning journey. Assignments and feedback. I love that the kids can submit assignments and the teachers will grade them. This is a useful aspect for us. Our school, Bridgeway Academy, asks for tests and grade submission. I can easily submit the grades from my tech lab to our school and even get high school credit for their classes. I love it when curriculum we like falls into place with our school so seamlessly. Learning happens by immersion. We all know learning happens best by doing. This is true especially for IT and programming. I don't know about you but while I was in school my mom happily enrolled me and my sister to a technology class. Everything seemed great except there were just three computers for a class of 20 kids. We didn't even see those computers often because the teacher would only allow the best among us to touch them. But the class still went on. How? The teacher would torture us for long hours in memorizing and writing down how to file, open, save as. Does that ring a bell? If it doesn't, count yourself lucky. What I'm saying is that a lot of technology textbooks, even today, are set up like this and teachers still teach by using growth learning. Do I need to state the obvious and say this is not how you learn technology? You need to interact with it. You need to make mistakes. You need to figure it out on your own. 
My Tech Lab is all about doing and I love the class setup. I love how Steven explains the lessons to kids, but there is no easy magic copy paste solution. They have to type it all in themselves. They have to do it all on their own while understanding what each line of code does. Resilience and grit. Resilience and grit are two of the markers for success. After school, I taught myself how to use a computer. I taught myself how to work with specialized software like Photoshop and Lightroom. I taught myself how to build a website. I made mistakes, I lost my work, I started again. For hours and hours, I learned and didn't quit. I think programming, along with music, are great channels to nurture resilience and grit. Resilience is your capacity of bouncing back from negative experiences and disturbances, and grit is your perseverance and passion. Too many kids nowadays are used to quitting if things don't go their way. The moment they hit something hard, they stop trying. This is a real problem. But what is programming if not the very definition of resilience and grit? You have an idea you apply it, nothing happens, you troubleshoot, you improve, you troubleshoot some more. My Tech Lab helps build resilience and grit because kids are encouraged to find their own problems when something doesn't work. It's hard work programming, but if they keep at it, they will soon be creating their own working programs. And the satisfaction of this will dwarf the stress of trying. Growth Mindset Another thing I've noticed about Steven is that he is using growth mindset techniques techniques in the class. How cool is that? I love teachers that do this and I was sold from the very first class when he told kids they can just grow from their mistakes. Mistakes are not the end, just a way to learn more. I love that in my tech lab kids are encouraged to find the answer themselves. Steven is just guiding the conversation, asking kids what they think would happen if they add another command, what would change. This gives everyone plenty of time to make connections, make predictions, and figure things out on their own. This type of learning is the best. The teacher acts as a mentor, guiding kids to find the answer themselves and helping only where he needs to. My Tech Lab is flexible. I love how flexible my Tech Lab classes are. Even though we are enrolled to a specific time each week, sometimes we can't be present online at that time. We all know how homeschool schedules work. I love that we aren't missing out on anything because the classes are there for us anytime and we get access to the class immediately after the Zoom classes end. It's fun and engaging. It's not easy getting kids to want to learn. My Tech Lab classes were so fun that they captivated my son from the very first class. He is now asking me to work some more on his project and he loves spending time tweaking them to his liking. I love seeing his programming skills growing with every single class and him becoming more and more comfortable with using technology and experimenting with it. He is so proud every time he's showing us his new project. He created a calculator and a project in J5. Something useful. I was debating whether this is a real plus for my tech lab and decided it is. In today's world, where screens take up an increasing amount of our day, I think it's important that kids learn how to use it for something useful. We already established that programming skills are useful to have. Why not encourage your kids to spend their time in front of a screen creating something and building on their skills. Programming isn't easy and it can't be learned in a couple of days. It requires a certain investment of time and effort. I am happy for once that my son is spending useful screen time learning something that will help him in the future. At least now he's focused on the positive side of the screens, the creative side. We chose Programming 1 because my son had previously dabbled in programming with his mentor and he loved it. They didn't take it far, but it was enough to spark his curiosity. So far, he's been doing it for about two months and he happily spends extra time to tweak and change the projects on his own. For me, that's a clear sign that he understood the code and he found it interesting. For the first project, the kids needed to make a calculator in Java and my son used what he learned in the class to take it further, changing colors and even the number of digits you can input. 
For the second project, they learned how to make a drawing pad where you could draw by using your mouse. He spent lots of hours modifying the shapes and sizes of the brushes or canvas. It might not seem like much, but these are concepts that are at the base of programming. I'm impressed with my son's evolution and we will continue paying for these classes for the years to come. Now let's see a glimpse inside the class. I'll also show you inside the dashboard. And then last class did a robotic dance, so feel free to do that one. Again, Landon, if you wish, there it is. There you go. <laughs> awesome. All right, Steven, are you ready? <laughs> I don't know if I'm that ready, but I am ready, yes. <laughs> Marcus is ready. Awesome. All right, guys, so let's open up our program from last week. We have a lot of things we need to work on this week, so we're going to just kind of jump in. Okay, so I'm going to go into a new tab. All right, so we need to have the input now. So after this, we're going to do input type equals color. <clears throat> input type equals color. And <clears throat> um, the way that we drop this thing down, kind of like for this one, See how we, we kind of drop down all these attributes so that we can um, see them a little bit better? I think we should do the same thing here. So we're gonna say, we're gonna give this thing an ID and we'll call it brush color. And um, let's give this thing a, an initial value. So whatever you want your initial value to be. Um, I'm gonna use a hex color, just 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, which is the color what? Anyone know what color that is? <laughs> all F's is white, and yes, all zeros is black. You can make just about any color that you want, which is really neat. Um, before HTML5, you could do this, but you had to build the whole thing yourself using JavaScript. So now this kind of stuff comes built in into the browser, and all we have to do is say input type color, and it works. Now, every browser will present this a little bit differently, so it might look a little bit different on yours than mine, but as long as you have a color picker, that's okay. Our rating is 5 out of 5 stars. I cannot recommend my tech lab enough. My son loves it and he will happily spend hours in front of the screen doing something creative. So what do you think about teaching programming skills and technology literacy to your kids? Do you have any favorite programs you're using? Let me know in the comments below, I'd love to talk. I hope this video has been useful. If you've enjoyed it, please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. It would help me a lot. Until next time, stay curious.